Drew's dozen time with somebody who's never done this before, and it's always fun to do that. It's Demarcus Walker, defensive lineman. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, you know, I interviewed you for the pregame radio interview, and you said one of the things you do to get ready is you watch the Discovery TV show Gold Rush. Mm-hmm. Why? Why? I mean, it's a cool show, obviously, <laughs> but that's that's one that you don't hear as much about as far as people watching, but. It's it's got something that you, makes you love it. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I mean, um, just from being in, uh, I think we were at the Hilton or Marriott um, at Florida State, and the Discovery Channels, you know, <laughs> it, it'll be on, and I'm just sitting in the hotel, nothing else to do, watch the film, go over your notes. You know, what else can you do? You're on lockdown, right? So, um, I mean, just watching this kid Parker um, and Tony Beats and all those guys, just you know, be very intense into what they do. Yep. I mean, just seeing the passion to it, and then, I mean, just, I like to watch people make money. You yeah. Know? You know what I'm saying? So, like, um, I just fell in love with it, and ever since then, I just, like, I really like this show. I really love it. I've been watching Parker since he was, like, 16. And it looks like they make that money the hard way. What yeah. would you be doing? If you were, if they plucked you in there, what sort of <laughs> job would you have if you were a part of all that? Me, personally, uh, Tony Beats, in my opinion, even though he, he's a, he's an a-hole, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, uh. He's uh, and for those who are listening that don't know what we're talking about, Gold Rush is a, is a Discovery reality TV show uh-huh. about guys who are basically mining for gold correct. up in the Yukon, yeah. correct? Uh huh. So this is Klondike. hard work, yeah. Uh, yeah. The Klondike, excuse me, the Klondikes, uh-huh. yeah. Uh, hard, hard work, manual uh-huh. labor, but they're basically trying to find gold, right. you know, which is something we've been doing for, for millennia, time. you know, yeah. as humans. But this is uh, this is a job, the job you're describing. What, what would you be doing? What is it actually? <sighs> for those I- that don't watch the show. I would, me personally, I was, you got to start somewhere, but me, if I had to like say I, what I want to do, Tony Beats has the best job because he has two dredges, million dollar dredges, and okay. he lets the family run them, his daughter and his son, mm-hmm. and I love the wife, Minnie, because she's the boss. She's really the boss. Like, <laughs> she's the one that runs the show, you know okay. what I'm saying? And Tony, he's so hard to everybody. He's hard to everybody, except for his wife and his daughter. Okay. His kids, too, you know what I'm saying? So, right. uh, me personally, I would be in Tony. I'd, I'd be the one just walking around point in the show, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But uh it's dangerous. I mean, uh those guys work their tail off, but the boss is the one who pours out the gold and the right. weight and everything. So I don't know. I'm that type of person. I'm a alpha male. All know? right. All right. And look we're doing this interview. You don't have any jewelry on that uh, I can tell. Are you a jewelry guy? Do you have any gold that uh, I have you have a lot a, of gold. Yeah, what's your favorite gold piece of jewelry that you have? My favorite gold piece of jewelry is probably my first ever piece of jewelry. It was a gold uh it's a gold um Miami Cuba link, um, over 300 milligrams of gold, um, um, 16 carat, got it from Diamonds Direct. Um, okay. And then, like, a lot of guys have diamonds and everything. Down in Florida, the culture, we wa- we wear more gold. And I've always just, it's just like, I'm just a simple guy. Like, like uh, you know, I just don't, don't want to be shining all the time. Gotcha. And, um, uh, yeah, I have I have a lot of gold. I have, uh, so that's 16, um, 16 carat uh, cube link, I think is uh, 20 inches long or maybe 18. Okay. Yeah, and I have two more of those, and I have a bracelet. It's all solid gold. Kind of somewhat related. Have you been watching at all the World Series, the Astros playing? Oh, man, no. I'm trying to get tickets, but uh, uh, I saw the Braves, you know. Yeah, yeah. that's kind of closest. Yeah. Uh, we're one of the closer teams to where you, you're from. Uh-huh. Well, one, the center fielder who played on – Thursday night for the Astros, or excuse me, Wednesday night for the Astros, a guy named Jose Siri. He's got two gold chains on while he's playing, and one of them is the 100 emoji, but it's in uh, gold. And he's kind of a, he's kind of a different, he's, he's a rookie, he's, uh-huh. he's real, you know, fast, and he's, mm-hmm. he's kind of fun, so I didn't know if you'd notice that. There was, a lot was made, basically, is what I'm saying, of this guy wearing gold jewelry. So here's, so here's the thing, a lot of, a lot of guys rock their jewelry during the game, yep. basketball, NBA, NFL, but my, mine costs too much, and, my, and it's too heavy, too. Like, mm-hmm. I have heavy gold, so. It seems like it'd be distracting, too. Distracting, heavy, if it's sling, it could chip my tooth or hit someone else. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like, it's pretty heavy, so. And then if someone temper Touch mine, like yeah. Richard Sherman, Michael Crabtree. You, re- you remember that <laughs> from Tlaib way- and Crabtree? Oh, I was Tlaib there. And tra- Crabtree. That was my rookie year. When that you happened. were there when that whole fight happened. Oh at, my god! Yeah, at I, the, I know. At I, the Raiders, I messed up. I remember Sherman yelling. That was way before. That was Tlaib. Crabtree. Yeah, 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 but it's keep Tlaib got it. Yeah, uh-huh. holy cow! Yeah, what was, was your? Where were you when that happened? What happened? I was on the sideline and Crabtree lined up on Tlaib, and I'm like, okay, what's gonna happen? And then it happened. You know what I'm saying? So. 
Yeah, I just I have a temper. I'm I'm a pretty you know level headed person. You know, uh, I got in one fight during practice uh, in high school, and in front of my dad, and I thought it was cool because you know I won, and my dad was like, don't don't do that no more in front of me. Yeah. So I have that type of discipline and that kind of and, and, and that type of honor to my parents to not show out like that. You know, right, right, you know right. So I don't even well I put myself in that situation. Sure, you know? sure. Yeah, I just uh just. Doing something physical with that on, it seems like it'd be kind of tough. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's it's a lot, man, and I love it. I love you know you got your little confidence out there, your little sure. you know, your little swag, or whatever. But you know, just me personally, like nah. I to each his own, right? To yes, each sir. his own. Mm-hmm. Okay, switching gears. Um, the Little Rascals. Ah, yes. Love the Little Rascals. Oh, right? that's my favorite. Like one of my favorite childhood movies. I have a dog named Spinky. Nice. Uh huh. Which Little Rascal do you most identify with? Ah, uh, the first one. What do you mean? Oh, all like the rascals. The, oh, the all all yeah, the yeah, rascals. Yeah, yeah, the ah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <sighs> okay. So I love Spinky. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Obviously. You know, because he was the boss. And you named your dog after him. Uh-huh. That's pretty. But Al Falfo was the lover boy, and that's me. I'm the lover boy. You know what I'm saying? I've yeah. always been like a ladies' man growing up. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, Al Falfo is probably more of my, you know, identity. Poor, poor Alfalfa when he's trying to <laughs> no, wine and dine that girl, right? and they just mess with her. Oh man, make I it know. so poor. Oh. oh, Darla, she's the worst. I got some little kids at home, and that's one of that's one of the movies that's in the rotation. Uh-huh. So I've seen it. I've seen bits and pieces of it about 17, 18 times. It's, yeah, it's a favorite in our household. Uh, which little rascal could you just do without, though? Darla. Darla. <laughs> yeah. yeah, she yeah. break the guard's heart. I mean, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> going around playing with people's hearts and stuff, man. Nah, man, going somewhere. We're kids. See you later, Darla. Uh-huh. How good a cook are you? I'm a pretty good cook. Yeah. yeah. What's the latest thing you've you've cooked? The last thing I made uh, was garlic butter chicken. Yeah, yeah. It How long a, did that take to make? How involved the you process know is that? I learned that same day and I made it, and it was like really? it, it didn't take long at all. No, no lie. Now, where'd you? Where, how come you're a good cook? Like, did just on your own? Your mother, father, a good cook? Somebody else? So my mother's a great cook. Okay. And I a good cook, a great cook, and like. Uh, I was spoiled and I was blessed. Um, so, you know, having that influence and then when I moved with my father, he did his own cooking. Mm-hmm. Um, he was a single father. So I'm like, I had to learn, all right, you got to do things on your own. So having that little mixture in the bowl and being able to um, go off to college, I wasn't, you know, you, I, was, I wasn't, you know, I was you poor, old, poor old college kid. So I had to learn how to cook. I couldn't go out sure. every night and I was 18 years old. Never forget, like, trying to make Easy Mac macaroni and cheese, <laughs> mashed potatoes, trying to fry chicken, learn how to, like, this is before I even learned, learn how to grill and everything. Don't forget the water with the Easy Mac. Oh, don't, for real. Seriously. <laughs> smoke will billow out of your, your, yeah, you've been there. Yeah, huh? oh, I've been there. Been yeah. there, done that. So, it was, a, it was a learning curve, you know. Uh, trial and error gave me the best results, and that's why I'm able to be a pretty good cook right now, you know, because um, uh, I had to learn. So, when I was 18, you know, and I stuck to it. I yeah. didn't. I didn't. I didn't. You know. I didn't shy away from it, or wasn't too embarrassed when people didn't like it. I'm like, okay, whatever. You it's know. just one thing, right? Exactly. I can tell you. By the time I seen you, I had to tell people, no, you can't come over and eat. That's <laughs> a good sign. That's yeah. A good sign. Do you still cook for teammates? Anybody? Anybody uh, come oh, stop nah. by? Uh, I do something for Thanksgiving normally. I have okay. guys, you know, come over and everything. But uh, it was pretty, pretty good. I actually bought some groceries the other day. I'm making jerk paste like tonight. Jerk paste. What's that? You know how you make jerk chicken and okay. jerk pork or whatever. Mm-hmm. Well, you, you need to. I make my paste from scratch. Got it. So and scotch, you do it kind of ahead of time. Scotch, bean, peppers, fresh thyme, fresh garlic cloves, fresh. Sounds good, man. Scallion. Yeah. Is this jerk chicken stuff? Is this your go-to dish, or do you have another thing that's like, when I make this, this is the best. Nobody can hang with this. Oxtails. Oxtails. Yeah, my oxtails. Really? Yeah. yeah. How, how come? Uh be honest with you. It's just because, I don't know, like, everybody who's had them, just like, your oxtails, I'm like, I underrate my own oxtails. Mm-hmm. My own mother told me that. Really? She was like, a lot of these people, because when she came to Houston and in Jacksonville, I used to say, hey, come try these people out. My mom said it's good, but you know yours better, right? I'm like, no way. And, you know, you can ask anybody, like, who've had my cooking, like, what's your favorite meal? Everybody, I even asked them, they're like, your oxtail is the best. I'm like, Sorry. And you're surprised by that. I am surprised. Cause I make a lot of good things. Like I can Mr. grill. Mr. Modesty about his ox. <laughs> yeah, you know, like like I can grill like ribs, like mm-hmm. I jerk chicken, curry chicken, chicken and dumplings from scratch. Like I do all that. You know what I'm saying um, enchiladas from scratch. You know that's impressive. <laughs> yeah, so that's a, like, that's a wide 
wide swath of food that you're. I know different ethnicities. Yeah. Yeah, you know, yeah. And then you're get you get the jerk paste coming up. That's yeah. that's gonna be fun. Okay. Uh, you seen the TV show Ted Lasso at all? No, I haven't. Okay. Well, there's a question he asks, and it's it can apply to anything. First concert you ever saw? Best concert you ever saw? Oh, music concert. Oh my gosh. Go to many concerts? I've never been to a concert. Never been? I've never been to a concert. Fair enough. No problem. I've never been there. to a concert. Okay. Well, your first one will probably be your best one. <laughs> yeah, seriously. I've never been to a concert. But seriously. then you'll get to compare after that if you ever do go to more. Mm-hmm. Um, what's your favorite exercise in the weight room, and what exercise in the weight room do you just hate? Um, my favorite exercise in the weight room... I don't sound like any other typical guy, but this is because it's just easier. In my like, I'm born naturally strong. Bench press is my like favorite. Okay, yeah, you know most everybody that I've asked, I do this once a week. Yeah. See, almost everybody else says squats. Nah. So you're about the second person that said bench press. Yeah, bench press is my favorite. Uh, what just I, standard with the the bar, not the yeah. dumbbells. Yeah. Yeah, and probably like my worst is like I hated squatting. Hated squatting. Yeah, it's just, and and it's not like because like I hate squatting. It's just like so much weight I put on, and it's just like yeah. when you're strong, man, that's, it adds up, man. Yeah. So it's just like there's a different way to do this. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, <laughs> so like, <laughs> like no, nah, like yeah, squatting is just like okay. But no, I'm I'm blessed to where I have a physique where I don't need to look like you know some guys like you look like you don't squat. You know what I'm saying? I don't have that type <laughs> of I don't have those issues over here. I got you. <laughs> yeah. uh, Halloween's coming up, man. Uh-huh. What's your best Halloween costume ever? <laughs> best Halloween costume ever, probably the Joker. The Joker? Yeah. You like the Heath Ledger Joker style or? No, uh, the um, 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 he has the question marks on him. Forgot his name. Oh, from like old school. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh, yeah. old yeah. school Batman. Yeah, All right. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, like the TV show from the sixties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I go, that. I go old school. That is old school. I remember yeah. watching that on. It was on reruns when I was a little kid. So, mm-hmm. I mean, obviously, I wasn't alive then, but it was like the sixties. <laughs> uh, what are you gonna be for Halloween this year? Are you gonna, you gonna dress up? It's after the game on Sunday. I want to be a cowboy. Cowboy. All right, it's a good one. Not a Dallas a, cowboy, but no, a cowboy cowboy, no, a real cowboy. No. Yeah. Best Halloween candy is what. Best Halloween candy. Or some of the best Halloween. When they went in your, your pail or your sack or whatever, you're like, yeah. I don't know if they – Laffy Taffy's. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But I don't know if they sell them anymore. But Sweet Tart had their own Laffy Taffy's for a little while. Oh, my oh. gosh. They were so good. I haven't seen them in a while. but I know, right? they got to be kicking around somewhere. <laughs> I mean, like, oh. It was a tart, and then I love Chewy. I yep. love Chewy candy. You oh, know yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Sweet, so you like Swedish fish? I do like Swedish fish. Yeah, I, I, I don't like too many of them, but I'm a huge chewy candy type chewy of guy. Chewy candy guy. Like, I love like Starburst, um, Skittles, gummy bears. Mm-hmm. I love chewy candy. What's yeah. the one you hate getting? I hate sour. I hate sour. Okay. Yeah, like sour is not like my thing at all. Like not a not a lemon head guy. No, no. Yeah. Like I'll eat them, but like just my see, like my mouth is just like. Just, I just triggered something, huh? Yeah, I just cringed right there. <laughs> just Fair thinking enough. about it. All right, last thing. You were born on September 30th. Mm-hmm. Also born on that date, T. Payne, Martina Hingis, the great tennis player. Mm-hmm. Pac-Man Jones. My guy, yes. And Johnny Mathis. He's a singer, you know, like in the 50s, 60s. Mm-hmm. You've heard his stuff, I'm sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, rank those guys with yourself and girls. Out of those five, where do you rank? Who was the first two again? T Pain, Martina Hingis, the t- the tennis player, Pac Man Jones, Adam Jones for those that don't mm-hmm. like calling him Pac Man, and Johnny Mathis. Pac Man is number one. Okay, that was my teammate in 2018. And me and this guy actually like we used to hang out, especially. Yeah. And then when we found out that our birthday was on the same day, we was like, oh, that's why we gotta go. Like, did y'all ever have a like a tandem birthday party or anything? No, no. no. But I, I remember at the game just going to go hang out with him. Though that's cool. Um. He he played a long time, a long, it was like fourteen long years. Time. Yeah, 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 man. That, and I got some stories with him, man. Like uh, I got some, I got some Pac-Man stories. I can imagine. Uh, um, number two is T-Pain. He's from Florida. All right. Number three, I go with the tennis player. Number four, I go with the Johnny Mathis. Here. Johnny Mathis. Yeah. yeah. Well, you're a modest guy. You don't rank yourself in the top four or five or top no, four, no. and your oxtails are the best. I, I'm going to say it. I don't know about his oxtails, but <laughs> anybody that talks about how their oxtails get told are the best, 
I'm going to say they're the best. No, right? man, I appreciate you, man. Yeah, Demarcus. I got to bring you out some one time. I'd like that. I'd like that. I appreciate it. Uh-huh. Thanks so much for coming on. Happy Halloween. Best of luck Thank against you, the Rams and the rest of the season. All right. Thank y'all, man. Go Texas. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to know when we post new content.